pre-CRT planning to improve CRT outcomes. So CRT stands for Cardiac Resynchronization Therapy. It's a device-based therapy that's used for heart failure patients that have an electric conduction disorder. CRT isn't new. In fact, it's been around for about 20 years, and yet it still fails in over 30% of cases. And this is precisely the issue that we'll be addressing. We're developing a non-invasive planning step for CRT that will boost the success rate of this life-saving therapy. So in CRT, electrolytes are inserted through the veins and attached to the heart's ventricles. And the, uh, the position, the precise position of the electrolyte on the left ventricle of the heart is critical for the successful outcome of the therapy. The challenge is, uh, the, the optimal position is patient-dependent. It's specific to each individual patient. So for um, any given patient, uh, the physicians do not know where that optimal position is. They'll go in blind. They'll be lucky in 70% of cases, but they'll also be unlucky in the other 30. And the, the cost of non-response of this 30-plus percent is massive. It's, of course, financial, clinical, it's personal for the patient, reputational for the healthcare provider. And as a consequence, CRT, a therapy that for many of these patients, short of a heart transplant, is pretty much the last resort. This therapy isn't used nearly as often as it should. What the clinicians really need, they need to remove that blindfold. The clinicians need to know and to see where to put that electrode lead for the therapy to work, and how to get there, through which veins they access to get to that point. So how can we at EP Solutions address these unlucky 30? We introduce a non-invasive planning step with our device days ahead of the procedure. Our plan shows the, uh, the physician where the target location is and what the best venous access route is ahead of time. Now the physician knows where to go and how to get there. We take luck out of the equation and replace it with personalized data-driven guidance. So what have we done so far? We've, uh, we've built and put on the market a generation one product. We've CE marked it, we put it on the market to gain clinical evidence across several hospitals in Europe. We've also built up an operation that embraces quality and operates according to the standards and regulations of our industry, including uh, post-market clinical follow-up uh, procedures. We've protected our IP with a strong portfolio of patents. Uh, we've published many uh, papers, some more clinical, some others more technical, and we get a lot of traction from key opinion leaders, most of them uh, clinicians themselves who feel firsthand that, that unmet need and are eager to contribute to a solution. They're also eager to participate in our uh, clinical studies. CRT device vendors are paying attention to what we're doing because improving CRT will impact their device business favorably. Most importantly, most importantly, there you go, we've demonstrated in a multi site study uh, on 111 patients across several sites in Europe, patients who had received prior CRT therapy according to normal standard of care, that our technology works in this context. We verified that those patients where the electrode happened to have been implanted close to the position that we later identified as being the optimal one, those patients had indeed responded as expected. Those are the, the left ones uh, on the top left quadrant of the graph. Conversely, the ones that where the electrode was implanted too far from that optimal location had indeed not responded, again as expected, the black ones in the bottom right. So with sensitivity, specificity values of our tests around 90%, uh, we've taken this fundamental risk out of the project. We've de-risked our project. We know our technology works for CRT. We've presented our results at uh, several congresses this year, 
And cherry on the cake, our Europace paper was cited in the latest edition of the uh, guidelines of the American Heart Rhythm Society with an introductory statement uh, to a section. It's one sentence, but we believe it's a sentence that will change the way uh, CRT will be administered in the future. So where do we go from here? Uh, we plan to execute three work packages uh, over the next three years in parallel. First, a pivotal study, randomized control, that will link uh, our planning step with improved uh, clinical outcomes of the CRT therapy. We've got 14 sites all across Europe ready to go. In fact, the, the, the study has been uh, approved already by the uh, ethics commissions in the Netherlands, other countries are following, and we're about to enroll the first few of 370 patients from that study. Second, development of a generation two product with improved usability uh, and economics for easy, foolproof use in a busy, routine clinical environment, easy to use, a large degree of automation. And a third, our market access activities, so completing the MDR transition like everyone else in uh, Europe and going the 510K path with the FDA in, in America. So this is the scope of the financing round that we're preparing, our next financing round, uh, that will take the company to a, a level of maturity level, which we believe will be an, a good moment for an exit. We also believe that we can shape the market uh, to some extent. The baseline are the existing CRT procedures, both pre-procedural planning, as I described earlier, but also post-procedural optimization during follow-up. So that's one. But as, as CRT gets better, as the outcomes improve, the physicians gain better confidence in it. They will give more and more patients the opportunity to be cured, to benefit from this therapy. So it's really growth driven by better outcomes. And there's in an indirect component to the market as well for a CRT device vendor that would bundle our planning tool with their devices. They would be able to claim better outcomes and improve their market share in their device market as well. We are now <clears throat> starting to prepare the next financing round in Q2 of next year. And we're opening the capital to new investors up to uh, about 9 million euros that will come on top of the contribution of our existing investors for an overall total of about 14 to 15 million euros. So these three milestones that I described earlier, the pivotal study, the uh, generation two product, and the, uh, the, the market access in both Europe and, and, uh, and America, uh, will take the company to uh, um, a significant inflection point in its value. So this is us, we're based in, in Western Switzerland. Martin and I are here, uh, and we'll be happy to answer all the questions you have during these few days. Thank you very much.